Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek and today uh, I will be reviewing this Volkswagen uh, Bully. And actually uh, this one was produced by Norev. And you can see it here. It was manufactured in China like every other model I have. And uh, there are also some warnings. Long-term exposure to direct sunlight or bright spotlight may cause damage. Okay, so that's a warning in general. So uh, everybody is advised to keep it uh, away from the sun. There is also this a small Volkswagen logo here. Uh, the picture of the car and there is also this huge 1 to 18 <laughs> uh, In case somebody would be confused. This is so big that uh, everybody will see it Okay, so let me first open it and someone recommended uh, That I should use a liner here. Okay, so Okay, it's actually working and it's a little bit better uh, when I compare it to other ways how to open it and it's very easy to uh, pull it out and this one was actually uh, 15 euro only oh and it's also very small <laughs> look at that for 15 euro which is uh, something like 18 to 20 dollars uh, I received this very small tiny well, well, it's so tiny and I like it. It's adorable, actually. And there must be some screws. Okay, there are only two of them. Uh, typically there are four when I buy a huge car, but here are only two. So let me first remove them and then... Uh, in the meantime, you can watch uh, some slideshow of the real car. How it looks like in reality. It's only a concept, but watch it. Okay, so I have unscrewed uh, this package and just let me turn it back the top side up and now uh, it should be fine to remove it. Okay, nice. And now the reason why I say bully and or not bully is because it's German it, and it has something to do with uh, I don't know some animals <laughs> so the name uh, bully okay and it was actually only a concept and now uh, you can see it here and one of the reasons why I bought it was because it was so dirty cheap only for 15 euro and today uh, I'm gonna review it so first I would need to uh, actually remove all those stickers and yeah actually all Norev cars they have it so it shouldn't be a big deal. There's also some kind of dirt. Okay, so one. And I can directly review uh, the front part and actually there is no front grille. <laughs> uh, probably because it's an electric car, my first electric car in my collection. And there's a huge uh, VW logo, that's Volkswagen logo and uh, quite small lights, yeah? they are quite narrow and yeah, they are not so bad. And here, when I check the logo a little bit better, um, it's nice chrome logo and also the license plates here, uh, this is a German one and WOB, I don't know what it means, but it's a German state probably. And there are also some huge uh, lights here which are quite nice okay so let me first try to open uh, the hood okay is it even possible and now I almost scratched the, the paint <laughs> okay wow so what is there and actually you see that we have this W uh, VW logo here and 
the only thing that we can see that's probably the battery because this is an electric car and there is no engine or typically uh, the engine is somewhere uh, just behind the wheels so each wheel uh, has typically its own engine and here we can only see the battery and there is a little more space for luggage probably I'm not sure okay so that's it nothing else here I will just close it and let's take a look uh, from the side so here um, you can see the wheels and yeah, they're not so bad and also it's quite reflective you see it's almost 100% reflective and this rubber it's also a good quality of the rubber uh, the steering wheel is connected or attached to the to the wheel so uh, also the steering is uh, well, well done so let me also remove those stickers here because I want to try to open the doors and I already know that I will not be able to open uh, the second door here uh, only the front door and yeah why not it was so cheap that uh, I can live with that and I quite like the color combination because this model has a white color here on the top and then uh, the dark red or almost purple uh, color uh, on the bottom side yeah, which is also very nice so you see that I can open this door this one cannot be opened here uh, that's strange that's probably for the charging I wanted to say that's the gas door but it's actually uh, just the cover uh, for the plug-in okay so if, if you want to charge it uh, from your electricity then you charge it here and here also a few stickers let me remove them and then I will open uh, the trunk and with big hopes that there will be some nice surprise <laughs> uh, maybe some umbrella or anything like that yeah sometimes it happens that we have some surprises and this time mm, okay so that's quite flat there is no car no even a carpeting there uh, it's just flat and uh, at least it has two colors and there is actually nothing else uh, inside yeah so quite simple but definitely uh, I would not say it's bad it's just uh, average plastic and you can also see here that there is a second pair of lights here so in case you open up uh, the trunk uh, there are those warning lights so uh, if there are some cars approaching you uh, they will not crash into your bully because uh, there are these warning lights there Wow, that's good. Uh, I haven't seen that so often. And now let me also open uh, the door here, removing the last sticker and uh, opening it. So here the door handle. And by the way, look here. Uh, this is not perfectly colored here. It's a little bit miserable. Uh, you see that this is not a perfect line and here this is somehow crooked or I don't know yeah maybe I would need to repaint it a little bit no, this is a very bad quality uh, okay nevertheless let me check now the inside of the car and you see that there is a nice steering wheel uh, there is also a speedometer and there is a big huge tablet in the middle uh, that's the infotainment screen and there is actually nothing like a middle console or there's nothing in the middle between those two seats so I'm now wondering uh, maybe yeah actually three people can sit here in the front that's for six passengers which is quite strange and you see now here uh, there is this extra uh, safety belt this is what how I recognize that it's for three people yeah okay so quite nice and can we somehow move uh, those seats no it cannot be moved everything is so flat 
and there are also no uh, electronic controls of those seats so nothing like that we cannot control it and there are two pedals it's the uh, brake and accelerator of course uh, so I would expect that and I'm also checking sometimes uh, how the rear mirrors or the side mirrors are done and let me just close this it cannot be closed that easily okay I don't I don't want to break it oh now <laughs> finally it's not that easy to close it uh, I like those uh, rear lights very much and also the logo here everything looks very nice for 15 euro that's an incredible price um, and then here the Viper it's not working and there are also here two of them on the windshield and they are also not uh, attached only here so it's pretty much the same and I like it how it's done yeah because sometimes this is glued in and you are not able to even move it a little bit but here uh, it's attached where it's supposed to be only here and here which is great okay so what else should I say now uh, this is a very nice model it's a tiny one and uh, I like it very much because uh, you know there are no not so many models like this one it's a concept and um, maybe now it's time to also uh, give you some presentation of this car outside or um, in a different environment There is one thing that I also very much like about this one and that's uh, the very huge window on the top which is a great one and especially uh, during summer uh, I think if somebody would have this car uh, they would enjoy very much the great panoramatic view and another thing is that I wanted to test also the suspension and here you see it's working and it's pretty nice also in the front this is fully uh, actionable and also the car uh, is very nicely driving around so the wheels are turning so even if you want to use it as a toy for playing or even for your display uh, only then this is a great buy and I, I fully recommend it and I already fell in love a little bit with this one Okay, so I think it's time for the final rating. So, um, yeah, that's one beautiful car and uh, here's the rating.